Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124. Welcome back to more or Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. This is going to be my first of many. I don't know how many it's going to be, but this is going to be my first of many extra videos. You guys will be seeing these once I'm fully done with the full extent of my Let's Play, which will be several months, if not longer than that, um, from when I'm recording this now. And. Uh, I'm actually recording this, of course, before I get to my actual, my actual, I apologize. I'm actually recording this before I actually get to the Let's Play itself. There's gonna, these are going to be extra videos. Um, I could have just done this all off screen, but I figured there's no, re I want to play through this before doing my Let's Play playthrough, so there's no reason for me to not record this while I'm doing it give you guys some extra Pokemon XD content, especially with as much as I love this game. <clears throat> now there might be instances there might be instances where I decide to change my mind and actually and actually read out the dialogue, but I have no plans to read out the dialogue in these videos. Again, I could always change my mind, but I don't see it happening. Since this is a different playthrough, I of course have a different team of Pokemon. Again, gotta freaking love this whole team snagging thing. Apologize for any lack of commentary. That lack of commentary is probably going to be quite common for me for these extra videos. So I just want to let you guys know ahead of time I'm not going to be talking too incredibly much. I may mean, prove myself wrong, but I don't believe I'm going to be talking all that much. But anyway, here's my team. Abdal 26. To my knowledge, Fabian is Abdal Smash 026 is favorite Pokemon. Ahmed, reference to Jeff Dunham. Rosalina the Gardevoir for obvious reasons. Rosalina for Mario. If anybody else knows any Rosalinas besides the Mario Rosalina, let me know in the comment section below. Especially particular, particularly if they are a fictional character and not someone in real life. And Spike, of course, as you guys already know from my freaking Let's Play, um... My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Reference. Yes, I'm a brony, but you guys already know that. Well, anybody watching this that's already watched my Let's Play knows by now. And Fluttershy, reference to Fluttershy turning into a bat. And Friendship is Magic. Um, I'll just show off their movesets after the Pokemon themselves, and then Wispy was, of course, Kirby reference. But anyway, Amulet Coin moveset. I'll be shuffling the Amulet Coin around. Magnet moveset. Twisted Spoon moveset. Charcoal moveset. Shark Beak moveset. Black glasses, move set. Then just looking over real quickly for myself. I think four Pokemon with Dark type moves on them. And of course, Shadow Ball and Golbat to make use of its having better physical attack than special attack since this is prior to the, sp uh, the physical special split. <sighs> Rear 
remembering Chugakari getting so excited over freaking items he found in the chests in his let's play of this game. It's got the wolf absorbability. Actually, I know it does. This is before Lantern got the water absorbability. Actually, no, never mind. Water Absorb became a hidden ability in Generation 5. I think it, it can also have Illuminate. This one probably doesn't, but Lanterns can have that ability. Don't you dare get the rare action piece of crap. Thank you. And for Thunderbolt, I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Gardevoir over Shockwave. Also, because the GameCube uh, issues can happen. I need to make sure I save often. Don't want to have to redo any more than I have to. I want to have it be to where I never have to do any more redo any more than one battle. But the big part of the fun of XD Coliseum and XD being catching the Shadow Pokemon, I kind of hate to do these not Shadow Pokemon battles first, but of course I'm wanting to do this stuff in order, and I don't want to beat out everybody and then not be able to fight these trainers either, so... Now to do the busy work first. Stupid dumb Pokemon both surviving.
by that knock it out. Good, thank you for planning thunder. I don't think there's any other uh, trainers to battle. On the off chance there is, let's go ahead and do this. Love the freaking ominous music of the Cypher Healer. Keep them in the lead until I, let, I get to the fight that has. Not really major spoiler alert, but the uh, trainer that has the girl, Shadow Growlith and uh, Paris.
please hit it. Thank you. Okay, so I have Splash Fire, not Intimidate. Don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself. Why do you get the critical hit, Victoria? Seriously. I have to redo the frickin' match. I really need to be wasting time because of a frickin' critical hit off water pulse. Stupid frickin' RNG. go for Twiggy Jack because I didn't want a chance to freaking activating its effect score against me. Please don't miss the thunder. And watch when the and not having intimidate or important to me. Just watch that frickin' frickin' important quick attack and get to go because you watch this time the frickin' roll will happen to me. It's only the abilities in that great battles and sword and shield in this game, the abilities in Pokemon are frickin' generated until you actually get into the battle. Okay, good.
Don't get a critical hit. Thank you. Also, I didn't go in the center room and get the item in there. Or you down there down there, I'd do this next trainer, take care of this next trainer. Just take the amulet coin from it. We have the shoulder, sh the shadow shoulder with the rhino horn. There's just the rhino horn always has lightning rods, so I can't thunder with the thing like I want to. There's no hurt in trying, so let's go for it. Piece of crap.
I love the notion, but I have to pass. I think I can always get some Brawl Game Tower anyway, so it's whatever. Okay, what do I want to use that on? <sighs> Don't really need to use that on anything, but I need to get rid of it in general, so... Let me see, did I use one on Psychic yet? I used two of them on Psychic. Let's use one on Ice Beam. I know you kind of mess up, but all I need to do is just say forget it, no big deal, and fresh water this thing. rather go for overkill than not do enough damage. I get the experience with the being and fall off and I need to use the bathroom real quick.
set. Three Ultra Ball! Oh, hey. <laughs> it's my second air candy. Yes. Okay, so... Here comes some battles with that Shadow Pokemon. I guess not yet then, I guess I was wrong on that. That's an understatement, but yes, I am. You stupid furry using follow me when I want to body slam the beater or paralyze it. And it's not gonna one shot either unless I get a critical hit. Piece of crap furret. And I got the parahax too, isn't that beautiful? Stupid Pokemon. Neto get exalted and he's follow me. The worst part is this uh Hound Noon's faster than Guard of War as well. Son of a crap. I hate that so much. I can't do anything with this thing because it outspeeds the guard of war and it's not gonna be able to Oh sure, you have fallen, you don't use it. Stupid shenanigans. Great, now I can't switch until one of my Pokemon's defeated and I wanted to switch into frickin' Electrode. I'm fine, calls to your single land.
So I'll sing Greedor on Charm Pidgeotto. Shadow Panic. Well, I'll see if I can get lucky and not have that happen and then frickin' netball the thing. Because if I use the yellow flow on either one of the Pokemon, the AI will automatically have a use Shadow Panic again. Actually, save the netballs for harder to catch Pokemon. Use an Ultra Ball on it instead. Of course you don't break through, stupid dumb Pokemon. Really? Thank you for not even shadow penny. At least. Yeah, I didn't know who has the higher physical attacks, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> 